Here we're going to use the program Marvin sketch in order to look at the structures of the nucleobases found in DNA. We'll also see that Marvin sketch can provide information about properties like hydrogen bonding, which atoms in the nucleobases are hydrogen bond donors and which are hydrogen bond acceptors. Let's begin with a template. You'll find the template under the Insert menu and scroll down until you come to nucleobases. There they are. Let's begin by adding the corresponding nucleobases to the letters at the top. G for guanine, C for cytosine, A for adenine, and T for thymine. Each of the nucleobases are normally attached to a ribose sugar. Let's simulate that by adding just a methyl group in that position. That position uh, that I'm adding the methyl group is where the ribose is normally attached to. Now let's calculate the hydrogen bond donors and acceptors in each of these nucleobases. You'll find this function under the calculations menu. Go down to other, hydrogen bond donor acceptor, then go ahead and accept the settings that I have for you here. Click OK. Just ignore the evaluation mode. There's guanine, and the hydrogen bond donors and acceptors are indicated with A and D. You can see that this particular amino group is both a hydrogen bond donor, because it has two hydrogen atoms, and a hydrogen bond acceptor. And the other atoms are donors or acceptors. They're acceptors if they have lone pairs. There's cytosine, there's adenine, and there's thymine. So there you have the structures of the nucleobases.